ever wondered how people turn a hole in the ground into fabulous structures like these at the Harwell Science and Innovation Campus? I mean, where would you even start? It takes teams of people with all sorts of skills to make it happen. You may think you know about careers in construction, but more goes on behind the scenes than you'd think. Let's meet some young people just starting out. It might surprise you. I was doing art and design in college. I didn't really have any experience in construction or engineering or anything like that, but art and design helped us creating things. So I feel like I'm quite a practical person. I think it's satisfying once you've done a job and you can look back at it. On the house, I was doing joisting, and when I started, that, was, that wasn't even like built up. So now they're putting the roof on that house, and it's really satisfying. It is really good to get a trade under your belt and be practical because you're never going to lose that. I am an apprentice bricklayer and I've been doing it just for under a month. There's many advantages working an apprenticeship. You learn and get paid. On my first day of site, it was very scary. I was very worried to the start. I didn't want to talk to anyone, I didn't want to go near anyone, I just wanted to work by myself alone. But I've worked my own my confidence and it's really helped. When I see a building that I've worked on, it makes me feel really happy and it makes me feel really good inside. So first of all, I shadow my mentor. I watch him do it all first and he shows me what to do along the way. He lets me have a go with it. And if I do any mess ups, he will show me what I've done wrong and then he will show me how to do it correctly. Something new, something I've never done before and something I enjoy. I chose this career because I find it quite interesting, uh, working with machinery, I love being hands-on and it can be a bit, little bit daunting as a girl to sort of think I'm going into such a male-dominated job but from my experience I've, I've always been quite looked after by the lads that I work with, the office staff, the company itself, they've been very supporting of me. My advice to someone who was younger, who decided that they wanted to go into like, in a construction job or on a crane, I'd say just do it. Don't be afraid to try anything new. So, just like a football team, it takes people with different skills working together to get the right result. Building everything from homes, schools and hospitals to sports arenas, roads and bridges. And you could be a part of it too. Through both university degrees and apprenticeship schemes, there are so many different routes you can take, skills you can learn, and opportunities for advancement. So ask the careers lead at your school to find out more and see how you can build an amazing future in construction.